In addition to this global, session-wide scope setting, there are two more scopes that affect the recall and group update of snapshot settings. Pressing the scope button on the left-hand side expands the number of buttons and allows access to more advanced snapshot functions. The first two buttons in this extra column of buttons are Recall Scope and Group and Auto Update Scope. These two scopes act in the same way as the Global Scope but allow for more control. Whereas the Global Scope was an overall scope setting for the whole session, these Advanced Recall and Group Update Scopes allow us to set scopes in more detail. Taking the Recall Scope as an example, we can set the scope to control the recall of settings on each channel, but on a channel-by-channel -channel basis. So, if you wanted the faders to recall on channel 1, but not on channel 2, setting the appropriate ticks and crosses for each channel allows this exact level of control. And as if this wasn't enough, you can then set the recall scope to be different for each snapshot. So you may have some snapshots that should recall specific channel settings and other snapshots that should not. By setting each snapshot's recall scope, this advanced level of programming is easily set. But, because of this detailed level of control, it's important that you don't overcomplicate your settings. It's best to start with setting the global scope first, choosing which items you want to recall or group update. Then, as you need to make per channel per snapshot changes, use the recall scope and group update scope. Setting these individual scopes too early could lead to unnecessary confusion. Below these advanced scopes buttons, there are a number of other options that add functionality to snapshots.